Hi, this is Michael Canellis at News.com, and inside this van from Carbon Sciences, we're going to show you a process that can take CO2 emissions from a factory or, or a big mine or things like that and turn it into chalk or wallboard. Let's go take a look. Well, Derek, tell us about Carbon Sciences. Carbon Sciences is actually in the business of transforming CO2 and useful, into useful building materials and calcium carbonates primarily. And so what we do is we basically take a CO2, which is a waste gas, and under pressure and temperature create a whole new byproduct out of it. The great thing about calcium carbonate is it is a very permanent material and it's the chalk, byproduct. Right? I mean, it's chalk, exactly. And not only is it chalk, but it's it's wallboard, you know, and it's used in plastic, it's used in, in um, fillers for roads, concrete. It's a great uh, binding material. It's a whitener for paper. Let's go see how it works. Sure, come yeah. on in. We'll step outside. <laughs> it's a key to getting what we So what's going on here? Carbon science is taking carbon dioxide heating it, compressing it, and adding mine tailings and other chemicals to it to make calcium carbonate, or chalk. Other companies are taking uh, CO2 and turning it into sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. These companies say it beats storing carbon dioxide under the ground because you end up getting a product that you can sell later. And looky here, after a couple of hours of chemical processing, you've got a big piece of chalk. The competitive world right now is not very big, but there's the, the main competitive technology is burying it underground. The, the government, the United States government wants to capture CO2 and put it into old um, uh, places that have been mined. Is this going to work? It does take money and energy to turn CO2 into chalk. But pretty much every government in the world right now is passing carbon regulations, so we're going to have to do something with CO2. The question is, a solid or do you bury it underground? I'm Michael Canellis for News.com.